thank y'all for coming to the channel once again and we're gonna take a flight and a train to get through this navigation of a story that has broke out and still keep breaking out until one moment is still standing okay we're talking about sherry shepherd and wendy williams signing sherry shepherd came in with a host of other people on the panel to try to save Wendy's show until she can make it back from her health disparities that she has going on and has been going on for a while now. Well, honey, look at look at look at who comes cooking. Sherry said she is going to be the permanent host, guest host of the Wendy Williams show. At least up until September. And then she's going to break out on her own new thing. Her own little gig that she done promoted herself into. Okay. The ink has dried. The signatures are on file. And Sherry is going to have her own show. Okay. <laughs> she done show up and show out. Now I hope all of this is kosher. Sherry. I hope you didn't do something behind closed doors. To actually solidify cement your way into your own tv show okay i'm just saying it takes a lot to learn how to gossip about people and make it enjoyable to watch and then per se you have friends to go back and hang with because when you put yourself into the gossip columnless show where you talk about in and everybody hell you might be talking about yourself sometime putting yourself out there and we know, honey, you wanted to be that host for Wendy Williams because you had appendicitis going on. And they just had to operate real quick, kept you in the hospital overnight, and you were back on the show. Now, if that ain't a dedication, I don't know what it is, girl. You are showing these people that you don't care. Death can't even hold you from being on that show. Okay? Near death, near tragic, uh, you know, a situation that would keep you off the show for a while till you get your faculties about your... Uh, business back and your health back but honey you just show and prove like cut on me sew me back up give me at least five hours worth of sleep and i got to go and that's pretty much how your little minor surgery went girl which you know it, it could have been detrimental because anytime you go into anesthesia you don't know if you're coming back out and honey, you came up with a full corset straightened back up and you, you, your your stomach Tighten up. Oh, girl, you looked very uncomfortable. But you played your part. You did your your thing. Mama. 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 Okay. Well, I thought I heard my mama yelling. I thought she was sleeping in a nightmare. So, please excuse me for that. But, uh, yes, honey. I don't know what Sherry doing, girl. I hope everything is kosher so this stuff don't come back and bite you in the butt later on down the road. Okay, I'm just saying, Sherry, trying to keep everything cool. Because we know you were just subbing in. Initially, that's what you said. And we had all the guest uh, show hosts that you beat out. Okay. Trying to help win the show stay afloat. To, they could figure out whether they were going to bring her back or was she going to bring herself back. But it seems like she's still on hiatus right about now. Okay. But we know you've been out, uh, beat out Remy. Uh, Le Le what's her name? Leanne Ren Rennie or something like that. And Bev Smith and some more other co-hosts we don't really care to talk about because they really didn't hold a candle to you, Sherry, girl. But yes, honey, we know you're a little comedian up there. You're not new to TV. You're not new to the stage or anything of that. So you are real. Uh, well, you're real comfortable in where you're at now. And we're glad to see you. But I'm, back, I'm telling you, don't come acting like uh, Wendy Williams. Don't, we don't want to see that how you do it. We don't want to see that now. I don't know what catchphrase you're going to get to captivate your audience or whatnot. But it better be something. And it better not be no ripoff or what. Wendy Williams was doing. We don't need that. We don't need another Wendy, honey. But child, baby, we have seen uh, what do you call that? Um, a video that was circulating around here, and I think I played it on my um YouTube channel. Uh, maybe it was a couple of days ago or whatnot with Wendy coming out. Uh, showing that she's supposed to be okay and this, that, and the third. And really, she looked at a hot mess. She looked at not centered at all. 
uh, she was looking kind of dis uh, disheveled or whatnot. And down out there in the and and looked like it was gonna be a storm out there. And she was going around and exercising. I'm like, I know health is good and eating good is good and all that stuff. But you didn't need to be out there in that windy, uh, dusty type environment. You didn't need that uh, windy. And then you were talking about your mama in uh, future tense or present tense. And we know your mama's dead. So you didn't really give us enough to go on to, to think that were you in your right mind or were you acting crazy, girl, out there. But anyway, it just is what it is. But Wendy really thought she was able to come back to her show. But evidently, them sponsors was like, look, either she going to come back now or she ain't going to come back. Because right now, she cutting up, put her own story out. Ain't let none of y'all know what she was doing. And that means she's not a part of the team because she's not acting like a team player. She done 86 us for how many months now? And we still don't know what's going on with her. We need to get ahead of this story. So, hey, they dropped the bomb. Dropped the bomb. And it already was kind of released out that Sherry was going to be the permanent guest host with that uh, word in there. Guest host. I mean, it could go either way. Wendy could come back and then Sherry out of a job. But I just hope Sherry was good enough to cement a deal whether if she come back or not i'm still getting that pay the same pay as if she wasn't here okay so maybe she did maybe she didn't just my thoughts or something she should have tried to parlay before signing that contract that was gonna lock her in but like i said if it was something that uh she just walked into and it didn't have no real big strings attached or anything it was just her season to reap the reward of having her own talk show host, uh, sh talk show host gig, then that's beautiful. But if she was like railroading or trying to put a wedge to have Wendy to come back, then hey, however you receive that job is how you will be leaving off that job. Remember, karma is a mug, it shows up when you least expect it. But if you did dirt, you can bet, sh bet, sh bet sh for sure that you are going to reap those disastrous consequences of somebody you love. That's just how karma works. But I said my, my, my do about this situation. So I want to hear from you all about what I had presented to you all on Sherry getting her new show. And if it was kosher, good, good job. Claps of praise and, and you know. Uh, salutations, cheers, you know. But if she got it unethically, then Lord, karma is a bitch. I'm just all gonna say, karma is a bitch, and show up and show out when you least expect it. But we're gonna go to page six now and listen to, or I'm gonna read to you all what page six Jessica Bennett had to say when she wrote up this article about Wendy Williams and Sheriff Shepard replacing her. Um, she gives us the title of Wendy Williams Rep. She understands why Sherry Shepard is getting time slot. All business, never personal. Wendy Williams Rep said the talk show host understands why Sherry Shepard received her own talk show following her extended hiatus from television. Okay, it's, to me it seems like they're trying to throw salt on a wound that's already been widely open on Wendy Williams, okay? Are they just mad because Wendy came out on the beach trying to flaunt herself and tell them what she was trying to do and she's going to come back bigger, better, and stronger and they didn't like that because she didn't get it cleared by them? That's what it sounds like to me, Wendy. They're trying to dust you off, put you on to your pasture raising time, okay? But going back to the story, it says, it's been a challenging time for Wendy as she does it, as she deals with her health issues. She is incredibly grateful to Delmar Mercury, to Sherry, and everybody else who has supported the show through this time. Williams Rep. Howard Bragman said in a statement to people, I'm like, child, do Wendy know about what this man is doing? Or is he conspiring against her as well? But that's just my opinion. Moving back on. It said, she more than anyone understands the reality of syndicated television. You can't go to the marketplace and sell a show. That's the maybe Wendy show. Bradman continued. She understands why this decision was made from a business point of view. And she has been assured by Daryl Mar Mercury that should her health get to the point where she can host again. And should her desire 
be that she hosts again, that she would be back on TV at that time. However, this way it get interesting, guys. Shortly after the statement was released, Williams took to her personal Instagram page claiming she didn't give Bragman her publicist, her publicist the okay to speak for her. Okay, you see how shit don't turn on you? You see how the script don't flip, okay? She calling out her publicist for going behind her back, putting the story out there that she didn't even authorize for him to do. Well, let's keep reading, why don't we? Okay, we shall. Mr. Bradman, she wrote, addressing him directly. Although I appreciate your concerns and your respect, and and your women. Although I appreciate your concerns and respect you immensely, I have no authorized. I have no authorized. She meant to say, I have not authorized you to make any statements on my behalf regarding my current status with Delmar Mercury. Again, thanks for your continuing continuing support and concern. Okay, well, ooh, ooh, well, that's crazy. But she pretty much got him together on her social media account to let the masses at large that tune in to her Instagram account. She giving them updates on her front. V.I. her house. <laughs> okay, Wendy Williams claims she did not authorize her publicist to answer on her behalf. The New Jersey native 57 has been battling the effects of Graves' disease and undisclosed health issues for months. Taking medical leave in September 2021, guest hosts who stepped in on her behalf include Sherry Shepard, Michael Rapport, or Rappaport, Bevy Smith, and Terrence J., Jerry Springer, Le Leah Remy, and others. Okay. Delmar Mercury co-president Mort Marcus and Ira Bernstein have called the upcoming transition bittersweet. In a statement on the matter adding, we all have a great love and affinity for Wendy, who grew into a true icon during her 12 incredible seasons as the solo host of a live daily talk show dishing on hot topics and interviewing celebrities. Since Wendy is not available to host the show as she continues on her road to recovery, we believe it is best for our fans, stations, and advertising partners to start making this transition now. We hope to be able to work with Wendy again in the future and continue to wish her a speedy and full recovery. Wendy, they pretty much don't shut the door on your ass, okay? That means you didn't go by the rules. You didn't play by the rules. You didn't do what they asked you to do or wanted you to do. And now they're cutting you loose. Hook, line, and sinkle, girl. Hook, line, and sinkle. So my thing to Sherry Shepard. Sherry, look out. You see how they did Wendy. They supported her up to a certain point. She got the big head. She started doing things they didn't want her to do. Start saying things they didn't want her to say. And look how they ended her career. So, word to the wise. Take in all that you receive. So, when it's flashback. Or it seems like a flashback is going in your life with Delmar Mercury. And what they're trying to put you on for your particular show. Remember what Wendy went through. Remember what she had to go through on a daily basis. Remember what she had to put up with. And remember the, the demise of her career. And how they had other people come in to cement her not getting back through that door. Okay. That's all I got to say. And that's all I want to say. So that's the end of this video. So if you want to get down in those comments. Let me know what you thought about this uh debacklement of trying to say when this job not trying to say when this job trying to put a new person as guest host that's really going to turn into the host of their own new show but having the same people heading it up delmar mercury okay do you think they were really fair to her meaning wendy williams or did they just set her up for failure when they knew her health was going coming into a real big deal that they didn't really want to deal with at the time and when it wasn't really telling them things because she wasn't trusting anybody anymore so evidently it's a lot of trust a lot of untold stories we don't know nothing about and we may never know nothing about maybe it was something they wanted williams to do and she felt like she didn't want to do it she has done all she was going to do and she wasn't doing it no more well they showed her 
the Eddie six to our ass. I don't have that dough, then. Okay, and that's all I got to say about that situation. Okay, but when you do some things for some small change to get some big revenue streams headed your way, honey, the pipe will be still want you to pay. All right, so you make a deal with the devil. Guess what? He's always gonna win in the end. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Another Hot Mess Express. This time we were talking about Wendy Williams and Sherry Shepard. If you like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to like the videos as you're coming into the house. Getting ready for me to preview or preview the topic of discussion for tonight. And when you're leaving, please share my videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see y'all next video. Goodbye.